everyone in today's video I'll be showing you how you can use a template button so let's get started so template button is basically a button where when you click each time it generates a certain information that you want to store for each month let's say a monthly expense the monthly expense usually differs with one or two extra items or less items right so it's something like that and while we do this a small mini uh, project um, you'll understand what I mean so to uh, make the template button or to understand more about the template button I'm going to show you an example my example here is monthly expense it's the easiest and simplest example because you need to understand the example then later on you can have your own information uh, in the tabular column so yeah, so the first thing that I'm going to do is use the prompt command. So slash and I'm going to search for table. You can use literally any table but I'm going to go for the first one because it's like straight and simple. Okay, so now I'm just going to rename it as monthly x10. So you can fill in here whatever you want depending on um, your information or data. I'm just going to write in gross and water bills close. Alright. So for monthly expense definitely the cost. So it comes on a number and just change it to cost. Alright, and you can even change this as a sum so that you can get the total of how much you spend at the end of the month. So this is the first step of a template button that is you need a tabular column or a table uh, that you can select from Notion and you can, it doesn't have to be a tabular column, it can be literally anything. Uh, so yeah, this is just an example. So the next thing comes the template button, so slash template button is usually towards the end slightly towards the end yeah right it's under advanced block so click on template button I'm just going to change this um, add a new to do to add a new monthly expense so that makes sense you know so now I'm just going to delete this backspace and it's gone so now what I'm going to do is drag this. When you hover over it, it's like these six dots come up and then you just click and then drag it in um, in this block. All right. It'll have the space but just you know a backspace and it goes away. That's pretty much it. All you have to do is close and you have your button. This is the button and uh, whatever name you give in here, that is what comes up here. So once you click on that, it takes few seconds to load, but give some time. And ta-da! Yeah, there we have it. And another thing that I really like doing this is my personal uh, favorite, but just uh, a toggle list. And then you just change the color. You say blue. Just drag and drop it in. I'll do that. And then turn it into text. So that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something from this video. And yeah, and another thing is this can be totally uh, be edited. If you want to change anything, it can be edited over here. And if you want to add a new thing that needs to be, again, uh, generated each month or according to your uh, need, you just click on this configure template and the entire template button uh, comes up here. So you can add, uh, click on add new and you can type in um, the item that you want for that month or for every other month uh, depending on your needs. So yeah, so that's everything about template button. So yeah, so yeah, 
I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.